Hey guys, Pablo with BND in a veteran's point of view, and today we're going to be talking about Terminator Dark Fate issues. So, I don't know what you guys been hearing about the movie, um, just my opinion. When I saw the trailers, trailers gave me chills. And basically because I love the Terminator, I grew up with the franchise, and I really felt that was trying to go back to where the Terminator movies were. But then I had chills again. But not for a good thing. Uh, basically, and it's really not going into the whole, you know, female-led movie, but it is. Um, and it has to do more with what Hollywood has been doing with female-led movies lately more than actually having females in the lead roles. So Hollywood now is trying to push char uh, flawless characters. And the problem with that is you cannot relate to characters like this. And that's uh, the issue people are having with Ray, for example. So yes, a lot of people have been, I won't really say bash in the movie, but really arguing about how that movie going to play out and how they should leave some of those franchises alone. And that was the same problem they did with, you know, uh, Ghostbusters. But now the director of the movie came and started bashing people. And that's pretty much what it says. Terminator Dark Fates director promised the film we would scare misogynistic tropes. As if we need another reason to see it, by Chelsea Steiner. Terminator Dark Fate had me at hello. More specifically, it had me at Linda Hamilton firing a gun in slow motion her full silver fox glory. And I'm sure I wasn't alone. The return of the one and only Sarah Connor, one of the best action heroines of all time, and undoubtedly a draw for the fans. But director Tim Miller, Deadpool, now gives us another reason to return to the iconic franchise, and that reason is scaring the pants off the entire internet trolled on. In an interview with Variety, Miller described the film's feminist band and his plans to take over Hall H at San Diego Comic Con. The film received some misogynistic blowback on social media from the release of its first image, which featured the trio of women who anchored the film, Natalia Rice, Mackenzie Davis, and Hamilton. Angry nerd boys were triggered by all the female lineup, but Miller is unconcerned with their opinions. Okay, guys, and that's the whole thing. Like, people are actually not triggered that they have three females in the sense of they're females leading the movie. People are just scared because of what Hollywood has been doing with female characters on movies in the last few years. I mean, you go to watch a movie, you want to be able to relate to characters. For example, last night I was watching Alien. You can't relate to Ripley, and you can relate to her because she has flaws. If you look at the Alien 2, she had lost uh, aliens. She had lost her daughter, and therefore, the little girl in the planet, she was really attached to her for that reason, and she had flaws. She raised a lot of the soldiers to be able to help the girl. And it is a flaw when you look at, as a hero, you have to think about the large number, not about single people. So, yes, a lot of people are stressed because it's not the first franchise that Hollywood has been destroying, just trying to adhere with feminists, SJW, and, and all those parts. But I really don't think it's necessary. I mean, I'm fine, and I guess most people would be fine with a lineup of three females, different, different age range and all, but you have to make them to be reliable. You have to give them flaws. They can't be those perfect characters that they just jump into action and nothing happens to them. When talking about Davis' female Terminator character Grace, he said, If you were at all enlightened, you play like gangbusters. 
If you're a closet misogynist, she'll scare the freak out of you. Because she's tough and strong, but very feminine. We did not trade certain gender traits for others. She's just very strong, and that frightens some dudes. You can see online the responses to some of the early stuff that is out there. Throws on the internet. I don't give a damn. That's exactly what you should do, okay? You go to your fans and you tell them, I don't give a damn, you don't need to watch my movie because, frick, money? We don't need money. What, what do we need money for? Pay for the movie? No, we're making a point. That's more important. Let me tell you guys, it, it's, it's not that. People are literally scared. When Hollywood started destroying franchises just to do a feminist push, yeah, it's upsetting a lot of people. When the first Star Wars with Rey came out, people were actually happy with the movie. Yeah, sure, they saw she didn't seem to have many flaws, but you can deal with that. You're gonna see the flaws on the second movie. But then she just became more powerful, and now people start to worry. And you've seen all the franchises they've been pushing lately. It's always the same issue, so you can't blame them. Are there some trolls in the internet trying to bash the movie for no reason? Yes. There's a lot of people like that, but you're going to have that in everything, okay? But what I think most people want is really just to have a good movie to go watch. I mean, you got to think. If I go, if someone goes by themselves, they pay about $15 to watch a movie. If you bring your family, you're really talking about about 50 bucks for two adults, two kids, and that's not even counting popcorn and all that stuff. So it's not cheap to go to watch a movie, so you want to have a good experience. So Miller described Miller described Grace as stepping into the protector role previously inhabited by the character Kyle Reese and Schwarzenegger in T2 Judgment Day. And while Reese was human, the T800 was machine. Grace appears to be something in between. So then they go more on talking about this whole thing, but like I said, I think the biggest issue is they got to stop attacking the fans. That's been done with Star Wars. It has been done with Ghostbusters. It has been done with every single franchise out there. And the moment a director feels that fans will not enjoy the movie, they're throwing this whole, oh, it's a uh, toxic masculinity. Uh, that's why people are not like the movies, because we have the females in the main roles. I just want you guys to understand one thing. So, I have zero problems with the actress that plays Ray, for example. Um, I think she's a great actor. I think she played really well her role as Ray. But I don't think her character was giving justice. Uh, same thing with the Asian chick that is very forgettable. And, and that's a the problem. They're not bad actors. And I think what a lot of people are doing wrong lately is they're actually bashing the actors for their roles when the roles are not exactly, well, it is their choice in a sense, but trust me, if anybody wants me to play like the son of Chewbacca on Star Wars, I would go for it. I don't care if that was a five second screen time. Everybody wants to be in Star Wars. So, but she wasn't given a decent part. She wasn't given a decent character. And what they've been doing lately is try to destroy the old characters at the same time, like what they did to Luke Skywalker. It, it was completely unfair. It was almost saying like, hey guys, you don't like what I'm doing, look what I do with what you actually treasure. And now they're selling gray milk on Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. That's scary. Anyway, guys, let me know your opinions in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have anything you know that should be covered in the channel, anything that has to do with gaming news, movie news, or even movies itself, if anything, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And I really appreciate all the feedback I've been getting in the channel uh, and on Reddit as well. Thank you, guys. Have a great weekend, and I see you then.